extensions coming off of them. Think about how active that spoonworm has to be. That's a lot of sediment. It's crazy. You think it's just from building their home? Digging from out feeding? from underneath? Oh, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> According to the source I just found, in some areas, sea pigs comprise more than 95% of the total weight of animals on the deep sea floor. Oh, wow. That's, that's a lot cool of sea fact. pig. <laughs> it's a deep sea farm. Yeah. But despite their abundance, most people will never see one. Oh. We're the lucky few. If they tune in to NautilusLive.org, which does have a donation button on it. <laughs> <laughs> I like this next line. It's a shame because these little piggies are both cute and play an essential role in the ocean ecosystem. Yeah. Okay, Adam, question for you. If these sea mounts are roughly 100 plus million years old, where would they be relative to the oldest sea mount on the Hawaiian Emperor chain? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so I think you would be well up into the Emperor sea mounts. Before you got to, uh, before you got to that age, so I know that these seamounts have moved, if they are that age, roughly three thousand miles. So you, you would have to get almost all the way to the Aleutian Arc, probably to uh, get a seamount of that age. The 8 to 12 shift is going through a shift change, so we thank viewers for tuning in. Continue to watch and send your questions in for 12 to 4. Going through a shift change for ROV.
You go ahead if you're hooking up. Morning, front row. How is things going? So good. So I thought we were going to have a pretty muddy watch today, but it looks like we're going to have some pretty steep slopes. Maybe we'll see something. That's awesome. That would be very fun. Yeah, Steve, what did you hear from the watch before us? What? they've been seeing uh they've been coming across kind of a similar terrain that we saw on on bottom during our watch uh the half second the first half of our watch yesterday but also the first watch of the first dive yesterday with these mounds mysterious mounds um they saw some more spoon worms um including live ones some of the what? things that make these mounds yep they saw these weird dinosaur egg looking rock structures and they sampled one, which is fantastic, because I was a bit confused. They are oh, wow. bright, bright white, ovoid shape lumps of something. Oh, I forgot to ask, uh, do they have a rock sampling scheme? Uh, this one. Can you pass me that paper? All right. Our next depth of... Collection is 3381-ish, or on the dot? <laughs> on the dot. Okay. On the dot. Um, I am ready for a move. All right. Uh, Steve, correct me if, my wrong, if I'm wrong, but do we want to start heading up towards waypoint three, kind of through the steepers? Yeah, I, I, would, I think it's going to be pretty steep, so I would like to move kind of as perpendicular as possible. Okay. Yep. Um, me too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I feel like that should that should be a a metaphor for something. You're not moving <laughs> perpendicular to the contours. Yeah, what are you even doing? <laughs> yeah. Or like a, a life affirmation. <laughs> Always move perpendicular to the contours. <laughs> or a commandment. Yeah. Thou, thou shalt move perpendicular to the contours. Ooh. An ocean explorer's commandment. <laughs> I like that. I was going to say the deep sea peak beggar. <laughs> Rule number one. <laughs> I, I, I like this. I think we should develop it. The deep sea peak beggar society. <laughs> big, every time we say deep sea peak bagger, Steve gets a really big smile on his face. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I, I like the feeling of accomplishing things. Yeah. You know, though, like we didn't really make it to the top of that last one. I stopped like a meter I shy. Know. Which I think we were just kind of proving to ourselves that we weren't just like superficial peak baggers. Like we're really in this for the exploration. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I appreciate that perspective. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where do we got the slope in front of you? Probably. Um, what is this thing on the on the bottom? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is All that? All right. Oh Who's been God. messing with a telestrator? Um, <laughs> I'm going to go, OK, <laughs> how about anemone or cup coral? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, that was that amazing. We're going to have to have a word with the, the management here. OK, go for Zoom. It's a great way to start a midnight watch. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an anemone. 
Uh, that's, uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Can we sl try and slurp that? Yeah. Before we move, since yeah. we're here. Sounds good. Go wide, please. I don't have anything in the slurps yet, right? Nothing's in the slurps. Okay. I've what do you it, think it is? It's an anemone. Okay. Um, but I've also made it my pre-New Year's, New Year's resolution to sample more anemones because they're really poorly, um, poorly sampled in this part of the ocean. That's a great resolution. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's attached, but um, it could just be on the interface between the sediment and the rock, so I don't know what to expect. But it does look something resembling uh, something on our hit list. Turned out the bender, so hopefully that Helps with oh, the shakiness. Okay. Another. That's a good idea. Another veteran move. <laughs> kind of looks like this. Ah. Uh, camp it. Eh? Should be. I turned it on for you. Oh, okay. Where? Remind me where it lives. I haven't in touched the, it in a while. Uh, isolation relay in hotel. Yeah. Okay. Through. Great. Yeah. It also helps with us having to face the face the the reality of the ground. So I did put some of these emojis on last year, uh, specifically the marine themed one, like crab and shrimp and lobster, fish. Oh, thanks for turning it on. But Josh. Uh, sure. I somebody, the for you if you want. somebody reset that over the winter. Now we have uh, wrestlers. <laughs> I saw Trevor playing with it earlier. Uh. Oh, no, it wasn't Trevor's fault. <laughs> <laughs> he found it like that. He told me. He blames Adam. Can we see if it's on the rock again? I didn't see very clearly. We might get a better look. Okay. Or if you move the rock, maybe just jostle it. Yeah, I was thinking about just tapping it, yeah. giving it a little... Yeah, uh, I think it's slurpable, huh? I think so. All right, let's go. Did we get good screenshots of that? Uh, okay. Can you go a little wider, please? Could you clear that uh, silt out of the way, please? Oh, it's not, not one of your services. <laughs> oh, no. I still see it. Okay. Might have closed up a bit, but I think I still see it. Which sample number is this? This is sample number 105. Thank you. Can you give me a Zoom video? Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Okay. 
Can I get suction, please? Uh, you're pinching the hose right now, so I don't think oh, it's okay. going to work. We can bubble. Oh, yeah? Oh, thanks. Go wide. I'm going to regret this, but I think I have to move back a little. Go for Zoom. Oh, nice. Can you see it? Uh, can you zoom in a little on Bubble? I think it's like that pink thing right in front of the snitch nozzle. Oh, it's, oh, it's right behind the bar, so that's the right thing. Yeah, it's always behind okay. the bar. Yeah. Okay. So uh, with your grip there. Can you give me suction? Yep. In jar number one right now. Did they take a push core? What all the push core here? Just yeah, maybe stop for a second, let it kind of clear. Can have a look. Video, can you zoom for me? It's as much pan right as I've got. That's it. I think all we got. Ah. Uh. It's gone. Um, can we run the slurp yeah. a little more? Yeah. Not trying to run it too hard. It's thirty percent. Where is he? I 
It definitely went in, right? Uh, it's a little yeah. hard to tell. Arm was kind of a bit of hiding things a bit, but uh, I don't see it there anymore, though. Uh, okay. Here's, I will re-grab the slurp the way you're supposed to instead of the lazy way and do it right. Well, um, if it's still there, I don't know. Do you see it? No, but I could, I see a bunch of silt and it could be under that. Okay, I'm going to stop the pump. Okay, go wide. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Go for Zoom. Uh, keep going. I don't see him. Um, okay, I can do a little bit more suctioning around there, see if he shows up. Do you have any more right pan? No, I do not. But I can. You can do a little. I can do a little hop heading, in there. It change. might be a little tentacle in there. In where? In, in underneath the rock there. Okay. In the set in the silt, I see like a tentacle okay. sticking out. <laughs> okay. It's like uh, remember that scene from Terminator Two? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Giving the thumbs up. Maybe that that would help. Yeah, I think I see it still in there. The sediment. Oh, I see it too. Sneaky guy. You can do some excavation too, I guess. Yeah. Okay, uh, I can see it a little bit now. Uh, can you zoom a little more, video? I'm not sure if it's gonna end up out of the screen. I think I'm going to stir up too much sediment if I do a heading change here. I'm going to uh, retract, actually, and that oh. might give you a little more to zoom in on. Oh, awesome. That's a great idea. There it is. Okay, go for zoom. Yep, I see it. Ooh. Go for a suction. Okay, Still like blind. 40%. Oh, there he is. He is stuck to the rock. Should I sample the rock instead? 
We can do that, yeah, I have room. Yeah, I, I, it's not too big of a rock, right? Uh, it's not that big. Bit in the front, probably. I might even have him now. Stop. Or he's just all. I'll stop the pump for now. I'll get the sucking up more stuff. Yeah, I don't see anything yet in the jar. I wonder if he is he all just sucked in there in the corner of that rock. Could be. Maybe. Yep. I think that might be him all just like tucked in. Maybe you could put the slurp hose down and then kind of pick up the rock and see if it's... Yeah, I think there. so. Go wide, please. Okay, go for zoom. Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, thank you, Steve. There he is. I think that's it. Yeah, that might be the safest way. All right, we can stow it. Uh, you want to take a quick safe. look at it? Yeah. Let's do a quick screen grab. It's all closed up. That's okay. That's the one. Okay, which all word do you want to stow with this guy? Um, let's try and go in the forward box. Do we have any room? Okay. Is it just sediment and nodules? Yeah. Okay, okay go ahead. Okay, uh, I white am, thing. Uh, which racked all the way back. Which yeah. one's the white thing in? Racked all the way back. Yep. Okay, so the left side. Okay. So, okay, ready for tool train. I'm gonna go all the way out if it's sure. gonna try and leap at the at the eyeball. It's been pretty stable. Yeah, like it when has. You, when you turn the sense off, that's sort of what happens, right? It's the oh yeah yeah yeah. It's the pulse that along that uh, the rail, the ten volt rail, and it yeah. creates like jitteriness. So if you just turn that off, then it tends to settle a bit. Landed on top. Perfect. Okay, let's filter in. Okay. 
need to have a talk with the management about the Greek letter situation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite there. What's off? Okay, I've learned my lesson. I won't grab the slurp the lazy way anymore. It's too blind. Uh, to me, the, the A box looks like lambda, and the B box is omega, <laughs> neither which corresponds to A or B. <laughs> it's okay. You can call it moon waffles, and it'll probably be able to make sense <laughs> of it. <laughs> I think, yeah, we should do that. I think that would be better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shall right. we? Yes. Shall we? I'm gonna reset. Shall. Are we full wide on the Zeus? Full wide. Okay. Can you get me porch on the bubble yeah. when you have a sec? Steve, I'm proud of you for already working towards your resolution. Uh, yeah, I uh one down. <laughs> putting in the effort. I feel honored to be part of it, this, this of such is, a noble cause. This is a resolution I can and am willing to do. That's awesome. The, there are so the... few of those in this world. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to call in a move at bearing 335. We're going to kind of turn towards the northwest to gain Okay. The ridge, so awesome. These are fifty meter contours right now. It's gonna be spicy. Yeah. yeah. How much? Oh, sorry, fifty meters. Okay. Okay, I have some new context for Can the we wrestling emoji. Please go fifty meter. Okay. Yeah, fifty meters bearing three three oh, five. Wait, it's done. On the watch before, they found a Shasta can. Thank that you. Was like pinning down a marine organism and so adam very purposely put so if we start feeling like I we're like missing everything because then we're, we're having to go too fast then maybe we'll do smaller moose that's the worst when you get to like the really good stuff yeah and you just have to fly through it um our speed is 0.3 now okay um do you want to make that point two yeah bridge nav Can we go at 0 0.2 knots, please? Oh, this is dangerous. This is a very, very dangerous tool. I don't see it on the sonar yet, so yeah. that might be premature. But I don't, I don't actually know. I'll pull in these 10 meter contours so it looks scarier. Okay. There we go. Nice. All right. Something to look forward to. I had to entertain myself here last year. I was the only one sitting in the back row, so I found ways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that what the emojis are about? There's a lot turns out <laughs> there's a lot of emojis yes <laughs> but i was saying apparently um on the watch before they found a shasta can that was like pinning down a marine some sort of marine organism uh and so adam put the little wrestling emoji on it oh that's what that was yeah so it was on purpose that that was up okay <laughs> oh a little dolphin oh yeah look at that <laughs> okay i'm gonna have to stop streaming the telestrator <laughs> <laughs> all right Video's putting his foot down. I'm gonna put a password on those settings. <laughs> <laughs> Go for Zoom. Sea cucumber. Yep. The the not so nice to collect ones that kind of disintegrate when you slip Oh them yeah. Up. Go ahead.
So I'm wondering if you guys would be up for doing a round of introductions and maybe just a brief introductions and then uh, maybe we could raise our hands today so uh, we can be identified on our 360 camera. Oh, okay. Oh so yeah, where is that? It's right behind you. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll kick it off. I'm Steve in the video chair. Steve in the watch lead chair. Ashley in the data logger chair. This is Kelly Barron in the science communication chair. Uh, Josh Chernov, I'm um, in the Argus seat. Gabby Inglis, Herc seat. Uh, Kate von Kusenstern, nav seat. Thank you all very much. So how, wait, so how does that work? I thought this was like a still cam. Nope, well it's both, it takes stills and video. Okay, so is it a wide field of view or is it scanning? It's a 360 degree field of view. So there's a lens on the front and a okay. lens on the back, both with 180 degree fields of okay. view. And then they get combined together. So software. are you streaming those out right now? Nope. Okay, so what can you do with what we just did? Um, well, it's recording now, but it's not streaming. So okay. if somebody was watching and they were hearing our voices, that might give them a little context of Okay. You know, because in theory, I'm not sure. I think people might be able to like pan around, like a Google Street View kind of thing. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Is it audio too? There is audio recording as well. I'm getting too impatient. I am sorry. I'm guessing the uh, SPL audio is going to be a little better, but there is an audio mic 360 microphone on there as well. 360 audio. Hmm. Gotcha. I want to see that rock. Come here, rock. There have been some odd shaped rocks so far. They found like this dinosaur egg shaped ovoid, uh, white, not uh, iron manganese crusted a bit earlier. Bit of a mystery. They collect it? Or? They collected it, yeah. Huh. Can you give me a zoom? Oh, it must be broken. Maybe? Yeah, we noticed um, in our collections this morning from yesterday's dive that um, I'm so a, impatient. a lot of the rocks here just at these depths bit, tended to be consolidated, consolidated What's that? mud. Just back up a wee bit and then give yourself some tether and thick get all crust. kinds of zoom. So, um, so it wouldn't it surprise me if things fragmented well, okay, off now and again. Right. I could come down a little bit, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> You have I to, keep there's being lots of places to look. You just gotta back up. I know. Uh, it's not always forward, Gabby. I just <laughs> onward, <laughs> onward. <laughs> Trying to tow right, the ship a again. More. Yeah, maybe a little more tether. Okay, thank you. Um, I've already gone side to side, and I want to look at uh, this rock. I want everyone you could go, to look, look at, at our. You could go here. You could go all the way over there. Look at all this black you've missed. Here. Go for zoom. <laughs> okay, now I'm satisfied. It's a broken rock with a shrimp on it. <laughs> shrimp? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have seen the shrimp, so I'm glad we got this. Yep. Okay, go on. Good decision. Okay, now I can go look at all those places. <laughs> that. No, I can't. They're gone. They're that obscured by silt. It is very silty. Where? Oh, no. I was just wondering if it was a big fish that created all that silt. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Herc fish. Yep. Yeah. And 335 is our move? Yes, 335. Okay. So, Steve, you were saying you're seeing a lot of consolidated kind of rocks with crust on it. And do you think, does this look similar? Do you feel like to the last dive we had, we were still in a pretty sedimenty area with this really fine kind of silt-like sediment? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, it looks very much the same um, high sediment environment. We also really, uh, when we collected the anemone a while back, there was actually an outcrop that showed a crust um, with, it's broken, but showed crust with fairly thick consolidated sediment underneath 
I think that's what we have here. It probably wouldn't be too difficult to break off this rock, but you know, it's not also not much of the rock we're looking for. And what side of this steep mount are we looking at? We've kind of been looking at kind of different directional is it aspects. Would that be the right word? Yeah, we're um, going straight up from the south this time. Okay. We started out in a little bit of a um, uh, like a concave. Go for zoom. Depression in the seamount, working up now into the steeps. Porcelain Elastrid, Sea Star. I thought they were Goniastrids, but apparently it's its own family. Go on. Porcelain Elasteridae. But we've collected at least a couple of them, um, different ones too, over Ridge this expedition and last. We can keep that move going another 50 meters to 335. 335, thank you. Amph amphitheater, that's what I was going for. We kind of dropped down into a bit of an amphitheater. Here. Go for zoom. Just gonna cut out here. Oh, okay. And we're going to move up quickly. Hmm. Thanks. Ooh. A little jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Go wide. There was some uh I don't know I think it was Jess who was piloting yesterday got some amazing shots uh of whoever was on video also, I think it was Dave, uh got some amazing shots of a jellyfish. Uh, it was much shallower, but just like in st in stasis, it was amazing. It's tough when they're smaller, but this one was really big. Huh. Some of the toughest shots to get. Go for Zoom. Some sponge rubble, sponge debris. Go wide. Either that or, or an old shag carpet. <laughs> Tell the difference. <laughs> the color is right for about 40 years ago. Yeah. Factoring in the decomposition and decay. <laughs> Do we have a lot of rocks on board? Um, there are a lot of nodules, and there is. Uh, one other rock plus the white thing, and the one that we just the collected. The white thing, okay. Yep. So three, three rocks and a lot of nodules. One of those okay. rocks looked pretty big. Okay. Everything's in the forward box, though, right? So far, or is there anything on the side? Okay. I don't know, maybe it's all that seawater we have in those Niskins. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not getting buoyant here.
Is that the one that... What's that? Looking at highlights back here. Oh, okay. This all looks like it's been covered, like turned over by uh, sea cucumbers, doesn't it? Like all these little trails and stuff? Yeah, yeah, it certainly could be. There's a couple of other things it could be. It could be one of those acorn worms or okay. sometimes urchins also. There's actually a, an entire book about feeding traces and fecal casts and how to identify them from, from uh, photo imagery. It's one of these kind of like coffee table books. Just fecal cast identification. Yeah, That's pretty cool. See that. It's a really nice book. I've seen it before at the <laughs> library. It's a big format. It was created back in the, must have been in the 80s. Must have been in the 80s or late 70s using imagery from all over the world. How were they getting imagery like that back then? I think it was toad cameras. Or, you know, something similar. Trying to find the name of it. It's a sponge rubble. It's a big sponge. Oh, yeah. Not sure what that could be. Bridge, now. Let's keep that move going. 50 meters, 335. Oh, 1971. Originally called the face of the deep. Ooh, squat lobster. Not that one. Oh, he's on his way somewhere. Oh, yeah. Look at, you don't see him moving very often. Yeah. Oh, look at it go. Whoa. <laughs> fast. Wow. Very fast. Saving up that energy for just... Go just for Zoom? Moment. Oh, oh. Wow. wow. Is it... <gasps> it's like swimming up. Huh. That's pretty that. cool. That's yeah. very cool. That's oh, wow. Wow. That's so neat Go to ahead. see. Huh. Is it, um, trying to recall, Steve, was it, is it Telson? Is that what the, use the appendage use and stuff? Something like that? Uh, I Go think so. Yeah. Yeah, like the tail. Yeah. Portion, yeah. Oh, yeah, he was backwards that whole time. Yep. It was burn a lot of energy. Might yeah. be, uh. Go ahead. Could be Menidopsis, which is typically what we would see at this depth. What a neato, what a neato thing to see. Escape response. Mm -hmm. it's a neat so it's book. not just a book about fecal casts. No. <laughs> no, but I, I, I was just it's on. mostly about that. Oh, so there, there's a whole there a there's second. a whole chapter about fecal casts. Yeah. What's the book called? The Face of the Deep by Heason and Hollister. 
pretty affordable at the moment if anyone needs some last minute yeah, holiday actually. gifts. <laughs> so 60 <laughs> meters off, I'm starting to see the bottom come up in the direction that we're expecting it to uh, in Argus. It's a yeah. double, double barreled burrow there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we saw one of those burrows uh, Go for just zoom? before the watch change. Yeah, that's really interesting that they were just two. They're always two. It's like it's a... Um, okay, go wide. Talk about faces one. of the deep right there. I was just thinking that, the creepy eyes in the sediment. But there's also a whole chapter about ripples. Oh, neat. Oh, fun. And like what they could mean. I mean, for 1960s and 70s, it's really amazing imagery. It's actually pretty crisp stuff. Is your camera set up there again? Thanks. I'm not feeling very patient, but I know the minute we like speed up and get a big <laughs> layback, we're gonna like get uh, to the steep rise. Yeah, I did some quick calculations where it was steeper, and it was about thirty-four percent of a rise. Oh, okay. We get there was that um, monster truck course. Yeah. In, at the end of our watch the other day. Yes, that was <laughs> exciting. Yeah. I keep hoping for another one of those because I felt like we had to blast through that too fast. Felt like we could have spent a while there. Oh, here it is. Look at that. Only three of us get the monster truck reference. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a little <laughs> embarrassing then. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's like the Delta Dan reference. Yeah. Dan was trying to explain, like, what was he trying to explain? <laughs> they, they, he was explaining the fact that even though you have this bathymetry data, it's whatever scale it's on is pretty big right yeah yes. so what are we talking like 50 meters by 50 meters or, or something like that uh, i think this is 60 meter resolution data right so within you could fit like a football field within that in our pixel and then yeah within your pixel but then, instead of going football field, he definitely went monster truck Well, he course. said, he said <laughs> when you, have you, if you've been to a, like a football arena, he asked me, have you ever been to a monster truck event? And I said, yes. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> he said, look at what they can build inside a football field, you know? Uh -huh. So he was trying to explain that. that you can you never know what you're going to find yeah. in terms of terrain. That's right. Well said. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> so, all right, I have a bit of a hypothetical. Assuming, so w what are the limitations on getting res high resolution uh, seafloor bathymetry greater than 50 meters? It's just uh, from at this depth. 
Well, if you're mapping from the ship, um, the f greater distance you have, the greater distance your beam will cover on the seafloor. So as you increase your range, that little like circular area of insonification mm -hmm. is going to get larger and larger as you um, shoot your sound down, down from the gondola. So if you wanted to get higher resolution data at this depth, you would need to use a AUV or an ROV and a, get a multi-beam on there. And that's when you can get, I mean, you would get really high resolution. So probably 10 meters, five meters, one meter, one centimeter resolution. Yeah. Um, it's interesting to think about, you know, if you launched an AUV that could multi-beam map the seafloor, return the data, what would be the most efficient way to do that? Would it be to have it hover in the midwater somewhere, do the mapping, or would it be make more sense to be closer to the floor and do more lines? Um, I think it would be a factor of the frequency of your sonar. So these AUVs aren't very big, so you can only fit so much.